YouTube, what's going on? My name is Argon. Welcome back to some Fortnite action today. I got some tips and tricks for you guys. Have you ever been looking for those dang llamas? And you love those llamas, and of course, we all love the llamas, right? You've heard of the llamas in Fortnite Battle Royale. Basically, if you open one up, it looks like a big llama-shaped pinata, and uh, when you open one up, it's got 500 wood, 500 metal, 500 stone in it, and it also it will include a bunch of ammo and then some consumable stuff, just a bunch of really good loot, nothing in terms of weaponry at all too much. There's a bunch of crap in there. They're really useful. The problem is there's only three of them, for every single map and they spawn in completely random locations and so finding them is really rare it's actually probably one of the most rare things you could possibly find because they don't drop from the sky like supply drops and they don't spawn in the same areas as much as possible like with chests or floor spawns if you go to a house and you know there's a chest there there either is or isn't one it's not like it's gonna be in a different location in the house they're you know they're very very rare hard to find like I said three per map and out of a hundred people the odds of you finding one in one game are pretty uncommon like I find one one maybe every every 15 games or so so very rare and to find even more than one is even more rare right in the same game at least so luckily somebody out on reddit by the name of overwatch 04 went ahead and did a bunch of homework and him and his buddies they put together a bunch of stats they basically went in and did a lot of research like they said over 200 hours worth of research they looked at a bunch of videos on YouTube of other people finding llamas and they went through their own games and went through the replays and literally searched the whole map for these llamas like I can only imagine how hard that would be to go the whole map and not knowing where it would be in order to find three llamas per map if they didn't find all three whatever but man they found over 2,000 llamas between the videos that they watched the replays that they watched and then the ones they actually found in game themselves so what he did was he put together all the calculations and not you know all the numbers and locations that he found plotted them on a map somewhere and has some program that gave him what's called a heat map now a heat map is exactly or maybe not exactly but pretty much I'll explain to you what it is if it doesn't make sense from the name it gives you areas and kind of zones that were more likely to spawn these loot llamas and if you could tell by the name heat the hotter it is of an area the more red it will appear on the map so if you look guys on the map the red areas are gonna be the most common areas and where these loot llamas will spawn the yellow ones will be a little more less common but not as common as the the main ones um, but they're more common than other areas and then of course the blue or green is going to be cooler uh, so that'll kind of tell you guys the range of where things go so the red areas are going to be your hottest zones as you can see from the map pretty much the hottest zones are going to be around loot lake anywhere along the riverbed and then also the north end of anarchy acres looks like a little bit of the area north of moisty mire northeast of the prison and then also like in between haunted hills and junk junction that's kind of a hot zone also and then of course you could see the blue areas are going to be the kind of cooler areas the green areas they're going to be spread kind of in the middle of the map uh, the blue area is like a little bit south of Pleasant Park on the way from Pleasant Park like around the soccer field area the entire retail row is kind of blue and then Lonely Lodge in that area is uh, pretty blue as well so less likely there the rest of the map is basically yellow which is kind of probably like assuming 50 50 now one thing unfortunately they didn't exactly give us uh, a scale or anything here so we don't know exactly red like how much percentage of them were there uh, we just know that that's the hotter area so if you guys are on the search for loot llamas now the thing is if you want to find them off rip you probably want to land on the outer areas like anarchy moisty south end where the factory is um, down by you know the flush factory now notice flush factory is basically all blue but if you find a little bit north of there where that new factory is located in the the little town with the big chair uh, you'll find some llamas there potentially and then of course out by haunted hills and junk junction that's probably your best bet to land to find a llama because if you're expecting to land on the river that's not the best place to land because you're not gonna find a lot of loot so if you do uh, you're not gonna find a weapon if you find a llama you're gonna have a bunch of stuff to give to some else when they kill you but the chances are if you I would say that the river and loot lake probably uh, not the best place to be going for loot llamas but those outer areas are really good and if you are looking for loot llamas make sure you're avoiding retail and lonely in those areas but yeah pretty cool guys so this some like a quick little thing shout out to overwatch 04 out on reddit putting this together I can only imagine how much work this is guys I definitely love to see people putting in the time and effort to be smart and scientific about these types of things again like I said no scale is to show us just how much red means or yellow whatever but you know you take it for what it is it's a graphical representation of how much you can find or how likely you are to find loot llamas out on the map in different locations so hopefully you guys did enjoy this quick video if you did please don't forget to leave a like if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe and if you're not following me on social media those links are down in the description below and as always guys my name is Argon and may you never die to a bush peace